Hello, everyone. The Fractured Filter here. How are you all doing today? I am coming to you with a video on doing a reaction to the Godzilla Minus One trailer that dropped yesterday. Um, I've been a long time Godzilla fan myself, so this is always of interest, and especially since it's going to be coming from Toho. They're the ones doing this. It'll be interesting because after Shin Godzilla and the Godzilla show that they did, which was eh, okay in the Shin Godzilla, which was just kind of an oddity of itself. Interesting. I I didn't mind it. It just was certainly an experimentation. But it, and the show itself too was it. Once I saw the forms outside of context were very bizarre to me. In context. I understood it a little more, um, but it still was kind of a eh thing to me. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great either. I just feel like it's just been kind of in this weird territory for the series itself. And the legendary movies I've liked, but also when it got to King of the Monsters and stuff like that, I've had my own bit of issues <laughs> with the series. And Godzilla vs. Kong, eh, also a bit of issues. But... Uh, that's not what this is about. This is about Godzilla minus one official trailer. And it's kind of funny. I put it into the search results immediately. And uh, as you can see, it's like you, you for just uh, just some search results for Godzilla minus one. Uh, you get these trailers here and showing off. I mean, I already the design of the form itself, I think, looks really cool. But. That's just going off of that. So let's jump into this. This is officially by Toho. Um, we'll check out. Pause that. Just to make sure we're doing good here. Okay, here we go. Make sure everything's set. This is maximize. Oh, all right. Here we go. I mean, I'll... Okay, that... Definitely great for a teaser. Uh, but... It is just that a teaser. Let's try and get a good... Shot. I mean, damn. I mean, I always love that they include the classic roar. Uh, that'll always kind of... That uh, kind of gets the key jangling bit for me. I do like this, this. I am liking the design. It's definitely got the Hisei Godzilla look going on there. Although I definitely like to see like the eighty-five Godzilla with that more with the more pronounced fangs it would be really cool. Ooh, look at it! It's chomping. So we're definitely getting some recreation here from the original movie, it looks like, and from Godzilla 85 going after, it looks like some of the train tracks. December 1st is his release. Let's see. I mean, they, they even play it too, this classic with the stomps, the stomps, the stomps. I like that. We're, I'm guessing we are ke keeping true to form from... Uh, from some of the original, the, between the original and the Hisei era, where Godzilla is probably going to be the enemy, unlike Legendary and the Showa era, where Godzilla kind of became is the defender of Earth sort of situation. Like I said, definitely look. It's got, but it also then makes me wonder how big is this Godzilla going to be? Because I'm guessing they're bringing him back down to about the 50 meter size. Ooh, I mean, it looks impressive too. Um, I get it. Go further back. 
effects written and directed by Takashi Yamazaki. Like I said, we're I wonder what we're getting out of this. They've got the visuals kind of again akin to uh, definitely more of the original Godzilla film. From zero to minus. Yeah, the, I think they've kind of sh- shrunk them back down to form. Considering the way this is shot. And like the Shingu Jiro is probably the lar- one of the largest ones so far. They couldn't be outdone. They couldn't let a legendary outdo them. And yeah, we're kind of getting this old visual territory. They're 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 kind of like I said, a little. I kind of would maybe being a little mean, saying it's a little bit of key jangling, but uh, definitely getting into the, some reminiscent territory here. I wonder, just from some of the looks, if it is kind of a more period piece. I don't know. The clothing doesn't look modern. Maybe that's what they're doing. They're kind of taking us a bit back in time. They've done that with a few of, certainly uh, um, with the millennia era, we're always referencing back to the original movie and stuff like that. As They kind of started each independent film. Minus one. Like I said, the the look is really cool. I will say I kind of miss that they are, they aren't doing the suit animation stuff anymore. They've gone full CG with it, but it looks this looks really good. Chomp. <laughs> After that, nope. Well. December 1st, we got some time between now and then. It'll be interesting to see what more comes out for the trailers. I'll be looking forward to it for sure. Godzilla always has a special place in my heart. So with that, um, thanks for watching.